What is up you guys and of course welcome back to another episode of who was really better and this week we cover of course the defensive soul poison types in Mux versus Swalot. They actually share a lot of things in common while Mux has a actual story behind it when it comes to the meta it actually until generation 3 was the poison type to use due to its capabilities of fending off psychic types quite alright and actually only have real weaknesses in the ground. Uh, since it was so specially defensive, Swallow has a similar history, but due to Generation 3 introducing a Levitating Weezing, there really were very few reasons to use either of these, and I think they both have been kind of in the shadows for from that generation onward, even though they got upgrade after upgrade. It should be said though, Alola Muck I think resolved any issues that Muck had before that, and hence while Muck and Alola Muck isn't compared to one another, it's because Alola Muck is a tier defying Pokemon as its defensive capabilities are just beyond what Mucker can be able to be doing. That said, I shouldn't take away anything what the Soul Poison type will mean for the Pokemon themselves and of course we're gonna go over the overarching theme, stats and move pool to find out which one of these two that really are better. We're gonna start off with the Pokemon introduced first in generation 1 being Muck. So before I say anything else about Muck itself, I really just want to define why Poison type is a very very good defensive typing. The resistance are very very fair here, Bug, Fairy, Finding Grass and Poison, and all the two weaknesses in Ground and Psychic, and until Generation 3 as stated before, Special Defense, as you guys see on Muck, is very high, so it really was only really weak to Ground, since it was always physical, Psychic were always special. So generation 4 I think defined that the most, but it really showcased with of course Levitate introduced that Weezing, as I said here, stepped up that game a little bit. Then of course, till generation 6 Fairy wasn't a thing, we still have 4 resistances and 2 weaknesses, which is quite rare. The only reason Poison Top has been held back was because Psychic Type was very effective in the early meta. Now it is still effective, but it's not a good offensive typing anymore. Uh, stat wise. Muck is very, very offensively capable. 105 in its HP, 105 in attack, 75 defense, 65 in its special attack, which isn't necessarily that good. Special defense is really high, 100, and then the speed here, which is slow at 50. So it's definitely a tankier Pokemon, potentially a wall breaking Pokemon. It's absolutely a Pokemon that can soak hit and retaliate, and it does this really well. It's phenomenal in that aspect. It actually is a Pokemon that. On the first glance, you wouldn't see it as a very effective mom, but it's bulky, it's so kits, and it's just do a very, very good job overall. Um, it actually is very, very especially defensively capable, and of course, with that 105 in attack, it is very hard to switch into. It does have a power output, which is something that's quite rare, considering how it is functioning in the meta. That said, though, when it comes to its abilities, we have Stench and Sticky Hole and Poison Touch. Poison Touch, of course, we should hit the Pokemon with a physical move, that is a contact move, um, then you'll have a 30% chance of getting poisoned, which is quite right. Stench, not as good, though I believe it does make your opposing Pokemon to be able to flinch if you hit first, but since Muck is slow, you're really looking at King's Rock, potentially Shadow Sneak, to be able to pull something out with that, I would never consider it, but Sticky Hole is probably where Muck is at because it makes sure that you can't lose an item. And what's the best item of Pokemon that is very special defensive? Assault Vest. What are the few Pokemon that can't lose its Assault Vest, which makes it ensuring that it can be specially defensively active throughout the whole game. Poison Touch is nice, but I always prefer Sticky Hold on a Pokemon such as Muck, because the stats are there to pull that off effortlessly, which makes Muck a very interesting Pokemon. And also is the reason why Lola Muck was that good with Assault Vest in the first place. But, as you guys know, an old Pokemon is only as good as its move pools allows it to be. So how good is Muck's move pool? Well, for being a lower tier Pokemon, it's quite alright actually. There are a few things standing out here, and we're also going to touch things that are bad, which also are meta-defining for the Pokemon itself, if you want to use it that way. It actually has a VGC history. Uh, we're going to talk, of course, to minimize. I'm just going to mention that it exists. Boost Ervation by 2. Um, it's really, really, really tough to deal with. And it's able to pull that off. It's all I really have to say about it. Um, what makes Mug really good, though, when it comes to move pull is it has disrupting attacks and also has a physical very high power. Uh, the only thing it really lacks is a really, really good 
uh, recovery, which is why for being special defensive, it can't work as a defensive wall, but more as a tank. Um, but of course, like I said, Assault Vest kind of works out there, which is why Assault Vest also is viable, because you don't have a recovery anyway. Um, so with that said, thing stands out. Sludge Pump, Fling, Screech, Sludge Wave, Acid Armor, Gong Shot, and Memento. Even Belch. Uh, you like Galarian, however, in this Pokemon, so it's not worth using. Memento, however, can be very, very good if you have another setup heavy Pokemon that can capitalize on it. Uh, other than that, um, when it comes to TM moves, there are a few things standing out with Toxic, which of course gets has Taunt, which is quite rare. A special move pool is really good when it comes to Thunderbolt, Thunder, Shadow Ball, where Brick Break, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Slash Bomb again, Rock Tomb, Torment, which can work while right since usually a Toxic Staller can, of course, get stalled by Torment. That's always kind of nice. We have Incinerate, Payback, Rock Slide, Infestation, Poison Jab. And then, of course, Dark Pulse, Power Punch, which is quite great. When it comes to Egg Moose, there are a few things standing out here. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have Shadow Sneak, which is one of its best ways of actually attacking. Shadow Sneak, of course, is a priority move. Uh, and with setup moves such as Curse or Acid Armor, as I mentioned before, it can be working quite right. I've even seen sets that have Power Punch, Shadow Sneak, and then Rest Sleep Talk. It works. It's not ideal, but it does work. Um... The power up would be quite low, but with the likes of po Poison Touch, for example, you can definitely get fast residual damage with that type of Pokemon. And just Curse overall, really nasty also. Um, Acid Spray is good for this, uh, Assault Vest set 2 if you want to go with a special defensive, because you actually have a few moves you get by Tutor, such as, of course, Giga Drain, Slush Bomb, Belch. Um, <clears throat> well, there's Stockpile, which works like Cosmic Power. You want to capitalize on that with a mean look. To be able to, of course, lock in Pokemon, which is always nasty, and definitely more so if you're especially defensively capable of fending off your opposing Pokemon that lock it in, set up, wrap up. That's that's something very few Pokemon can do, and Muck is actually one of them. And of course, Haze. Unfortunately, I wouldn't call uh, Muck a good Hazer. Um, while it is defensively capable, much like all Pokemon really are. Uh, filler moves that are common with uh, actually Sword Stance users are Earthquake, so it's very sustainable to that, and it's not fast enough to pull that off, so I don't recommend it. I think it's great that it has accessibility to it, but it would be more against slower, staller Pokemon. And in this meta, not only are they rare, they're quite risky to use, and C moves really just breaks through more often than not. Uh, when it comes to tutor moves, like I said, there aren't really a whole lot, but there are things that are standing out. We have the Elemental Punches, we have Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch. Uh, and as I mentioned before, Giga Drain. We have Block also, if you don't want to go for me look. And then probably one standing out there is Pain Split. The reason I don't define Pain Split as a fair recovery is because Muck really has a lot of HP to distribute. So it's quite quite hard to actually get something out of that. While Pain Split is a good thing, it's a reason Weezing is effective with it and Muck isn't. It just recovery isn't there. Um, most Pokemon that force out uh, Muck aren't defensive. They're offense, which means it's very unlikely to actually have a lot of HP to snag from anyway. So it is unfortunate. I definitely would see something like Shore Up and anything like that. But as it stands, Assault Fit is, as aforementioned, with the best set we got. When it comes to transfer mode, there really aren't that many things standing out. I guess Endure is worth capitalizing on. Can we naturally get Body Slam? And then, of course, Self Destruct, which is super weird. But it gets that too. Um, overall, though, to define Muck, it's a good tank. It works very well against a lot of good Pokemon in the meta. And the only thing holding it back is possibly its speed and typing. And, of course, that other poison Pokemon in the higher meta are usually faster or defensively more capable of having some kind of recovery. That really all it boils down to. Mux Moopo is very fair, its stat distribution is fair enough. Uh, it's so fair that it actually just is a type combination that is lacking and makes it <laughs> what they find as PU or UU in this meta. So yeah, Max stands out. It's not a bad Pokemon at all. It just, there are a lot of Pokemon as I said before are doing its role better, which means that it just falls back. It still is a tremendous Pokemon, and it will do very good job against any Fairy type or potentially Grass type that it deals with. It actually is one of those Pokemon that you don't necessarily believe are fat, but it's very fat. I've seen Muck beating Furning uh, more often than I want to actually explain, and it has a lot to do with it. I used Infernape against Muck, and that wasn't a pleasant time. 
Shadow Sneak and Poison Touch is just that kind of weird and of course Close Combat are assisted and that HP really are defensive enough to make it so, so it's, it's very underrated is what I'm trying to say, a Muck is just overall a really really great Pokemon, however the question is if Swallow is just as great, and well I'll say it has its merits perhaps. So the Swallow, or as it's called in Japanese, more numb. I really want to force it, it's called more numb in Japanese, it's incredible. But yeah, Swallot is actually very very close to what I believe a muck to be. Um, the only thing that differs between them is that Swallot is definitely more balanced while muck has a few peaking stats. For example, we have a split 73 in its attack and special attack, so it's special offensively more capable, but not as offensively capable as a muck. And of course, 83 in its defenses, so it's not as specially defensive, but it has more defense. And of course, at the same SP, roughly 105, I think it's close to when it comes to 100. And Swallow is speedier, 55 in its base speed. While it's not a whole lot, it is more. And that, in my honest opinion, is always relevant. Now, what difference Swallow from Muck? Well, we have Liquidus and Gluttony besides the Sticker Hold. Swallow is also, like Muck, an excellent Assault Vest user, and Sticker Hold only enforce that. Though, here is more required, I would say, to be able to hold it like a black sledge, for example, so you don't lose your passive recovery, because due to your mixed defenses, you're actually able to do a lot of different things instead of being offensively capable. Because you shouldn't be. You don't have the stats to pull that off, at least not yet. Uh, Glarny, of course, makes you kick in a berry earlier than you should. You can use like a fig berry, for example. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, because we don't have a recycle attack on this Pokémon. That is definitely holding this Pokémon back, and of course the Liquid Deuce is that once a Pokémon used such as Lead Seeds, for example, then instead of getting recovery back, they actually lose HP, basically making your recovery that you're receiving for you toxic to get to them. And um, unfortunately, due to that Swallowed Resist, like of Giga Drain, for example, and Drain Punch, it isn't a viable option for it. It is there, so you can use it. But for my money, it's either a Gladio Sticker Hold, and I'll still the Sticker Hold is the better between the two. But overall, we have balanced stats, we have mixed defenses and mixed offenses, and a bit more speed. So, how does Walla define itself over the Muck? Well, in risk of actually talking a bit about Muck again, Swallot has the same type of playstyle here, it works as a disruptor, has a lot of moves that kind of um, shy away attacks from you, and it also have actually a few offensive moves that makes, while a low attack stat, it still makes it quite viable. Uh, first and foremost, I should say that the other, other the only reason to use Gluttony is because you have access to like the Belch, it stands out there, it's definitely one of its defining factor. Besides that, the reason a Assault Vest variant would be just as good, or at least a like Gluttony said, is because of Acid Spray and Amicia. Acid Spray is probably better here because it's a offensive move, which means you lower your opposing Pokémon special defense by 2. That's quite right. Uh, we also have Stockpile, yet again, Spit Up Swallow, Sludge from Gas Acids, which takes away an ability, so potentially Klisko can Toxic Stall you, which is nice. Also Risk Stun in against you know, a Pokémon that clearly can Earthquakes. But yeah, it's quite right actually. When it comes to TM moves, we have Ice Beam here, which stands out for me. Solar Beam with Earthquake, which is quite rare for poison type. Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, and Sludge Bomb, Infestation, Bulldoze. Um, and when it comes to Egg moves, we have a few things standing out. First one is definitely Destiny Bond. We also have Pain Split here, Acid Armor, Curse. So it's not too unlike actually Muck, but as done before, Pain Split due to high HP. Kind of tough to uh, capitalize on and utilize. Curse is definitely fine. Uh, I don't think it is offensively as capable, even though we're going to talk about a few moves here. I definitely believe this is a Pokemon that is defined due to Acid Spray uh, to be able to capitalize on that and use special offensive hits and work quite right due to it. Uh, when it comes to Tudor moves, and here's where, of course, should definitely enforce. So we have Seed Bomb. This is something that Muck lacks, and it does, of course, hit more than just your average ground type actually hit water types also. So it's quite right. Unfortunately though, uh, it has access to the same elemental punches, which means that, uh, yes, while Seed Bomb is more effective to ground types, it's nothing that do less than I would say Ice Punch. They are so close to base power that I wouldn't say it's defined due to it, so I definitely want to enforce that. And while it's good, it's not helping it that much more than Ice Punch really are doing. 
And then same thing here, we have block to be able to of course set up against a possible opponent or lock it in for toxic stalling. And we have water poles which stands out and snatch. And C snatch of course boosts your speed by two. Just unfortunate that offensive stats isn't there to pull that off nicely. And unfortunately I should say. And when it comes to transfer move, really aren't that many things. We have bullet seed, we have power punch which stands out I guess. We have counter which really really is great to get over a soul fist version because not only are you very, very fat, you're able to pull that off quite nicely and just bait those physical moves. Um, and that's really it. We have self-destruct here too, a nightmare, defense curl, roll out, like the standard stuff, I would say. But what makes Swallot, I would say, slightly better in Muck is that it has mixed offensive to do either. It has the curse set, uh, which, of course, can alleviate itself of using potentially physical moves. It will also have a special set, which I think is far superior due to acid spray. It actually is one of those really weird things that, due to you being able to lower your opposing Pokemon's attack, you can passively recover with Giga Drain. I don't believe Muck has that same kind of luxury. It is forced to be offensive every time, which makes it sustainable for the likes of Will-O-Wisp, but also kind of just makes it one-dimensional. Swallot has a layer in its function, and yeah, while well, both being, of course, you definitely said it's defensive poison type, none of them have hazard, which is quite strange. It also means that they definitely are heavily dependent on their move pull to be devastated against their opposing Pokemon. They're not made for stalling in mind, but they can pull it off, but they're not defined by it. But overall, Swallot here, mixed defensive, and of course, a lot of more options to be different things in the meta. See, it's very unpredictable. It's whether or not that unpredictability makes it better muck. Well, going over them one by one, yes, I think anybody can see the reason why Swallow is good, but muck is better. Yeah, I'll take that route directly. It's very hard to hype it up. Muck is a tremendous Pokemon. It has functions that just keeps on giving. The reason Muck is so superb is because it is very, very defensively capable, but hits hard back and has recovery. Since their speed are so close to one another, I don't believe a Pokemon with 50 speed and a 55 speed should be in par with one another. I think the only thing Swallow has over Muck really is Earthquake, so you're definitely able to, I think, beat Muck one versus one. But then again, why would you have Earthquake on Swallowed? And even at that, I definitely believe Muck solves so much more than Swallowed really can do. It just lacks that offensive prowess. It isn't necessarily that defensively capable to pull something off. Uh, and while, like I said, Assault Fest variant is fun to use, it's not like Muck, which actually is superb to use due to it. It's a reason Alolan Muck was that viable. It's a reason regular Muck is just as viable. I think it's definitely forgotten. It's very capable in RU. I use it myself a few times, and yeah, it just it stands out. Uh, both Pokemon are in theory wall by steel, but since both like Fire Punch, at least somebody hits that steel type a bit harder, and clearly it's the one with 105 instead of 73 in attack, right? So yeah, I think Muck is just overall, it has a layer to it or not, to be very, very offensively very capable. While it doesn't do a whole lot of rolls like Swalt is doing, it's still very good at the rolls it does, what Swalot being below average as best. I really want to push it there. Swallowed is untiered for a reason. It just isn't that very good. And Muck actually is, while still being untiered, it's not a Pokemon that is bad. It's definitely, um, I would say, a Pokemon that isn't as defining as Weezing. Weezing is very passive, and it has been rewarding to that, but Muck is doing a physical, proudest tank job a lot better than Muck, or I mean Weezing. Huh. So for me, Muck is absolutely better here, and it is very, very underrated, and for all the wrong reasons, it just is that the other poison types are slightly better or has more option, but when it comes to physical prowess, Muck is your guy, definitely. It is tremendous. So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and what, of course, do you guys think? Muck might, of course, have a strong edge here. It's very hard to see why Swallow would win this matchup. But at least I got to talk about Swallow, which makes me happy. And, of course, with that said, this is the next week's meta matchup. Till then, take care. Bye.